Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. I've got uh, another tutorial video for you uh, requested by one of uh, our subscribers. And um, the question was, uh, can I, how can I use um, other mastering plugins apart from Mushroom and uh, Isotope and also Limiters from FabFuda? Well, Cubase has stock plugins right there in fact cubase 5 or cubase 10 they all have oh they they all have uh mastering plugins that you can use they come with mastering plugins and i'm gonna show you um i'm gonna replace uh this so this is something that I'm working on and I'm gonna go to my open mixer go to your open mixer and then from there go to edit output channel settings and then here are my my um, plugins from FabFuda which is Pro Limiter then Isotope Ozone 7 from Isotope then Iron Pusher Mushroom Pusher from Waves so I'm going to uh, take out this take out this so that I can uh, use the ones from uh, Cubase so the first uh, plugin that I'm gonna get from Cubase is um, a maximizer from Cubase so this uh, maximizer from Cubase uh, it comes with Cubase next I'm gonna get stereo enhancer all you have to do is go to um, uh, special in Cubase and then pick up stereo enhancer so here's my stereo enhancer. Next, I'm gonna get multiband, uh, multiband compressor from, uh, which is found in Cubase. Uh, let me find multiband compressor. Here it is uh, from Cubase. So I have maximizer. I have a uh, stereo enhancer. I have multiband compressor. Then I'm gonna get an EQ. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna use this eq which is already inside this eq so I, I don't need any other eq so let's start the first thing that you need to understand is uh, what is mastering so mastering is uh the term most commonly used to refer the process of taking an audio mix and preparing it for distribution that is when you want to distribute your audio you want to prepare it for radio play for distribution for for iTunes for uh, Spotify and uh, for YouTube basically this is what uh, mastering is now I have my multiband stereo enhancer and stereo um, multiband I mean stereo enhancer then I have uh, multiband compressor and maximizer so without all these let's start with maximizer <laughs> without maximizer with maximizer engaged so let's say I want my volume to be lifted up uh, a little bit just uh, uh, go on the output volume and just lift it up the next we are gonna I'm gonna turn on the stereo enhancer to enhance our stereo width it's like um, a stereo imager so watch when I turn it on automatically the sound just spreads the width of the sound just expands and the expansion can go as far as you want it to go though um, I'd advise you to just put it maybe on a hundred or ninety ninety five or ninety somewhere there then uh, you can come to multiband and this is how it works let us turn it on You can remove the highs. Let's 
little bit of mid somewhere here the low the volume increase it a little bit so actually multiband compressor w works as a compressor also you uh, compress the other sounds like the highs the lows until you get the sound that you want and then once you're satisfied with the sound just make sure that you don't increase too much of the highs like this make sure that everything is normal and once you get the sound that you want it it is all dependent on um on the song that you're producing on the type of music that you're producing so like this one i can still work on it until i find the right uh sound then i want the high to be compressed a little bit the highs and the bass so i'm gonna take it to 3.2 uh, 3.0 ratio and the threshold i'm gonna leave it like that then the release is gonna be on auto everything's gonna be on auto <laughs> And from there, I can still go to uh, my EQ and just try to 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 take out the law a little bit, clean it up a little bit, or increase it a little bit. So basically uh you can use maximizer stereo enhancer mode band compressor and eq until you find uh a good sound and uh basically this is how you do it uh i hope the video helped you and um i'll see you in the next one